Yeah, hello everyone, welcome Naresh Shetty, this is Naveen. So in the last class we discussed about uh, a side element, right? So how the sidebar looks like, okay? So how to write a sidebar by using a side element, right? So in this class we are going to discuss about the main navigation. So for your website, how the main navigation will be display, okay? So for this we use the tag called nav, N-A-V, nav tag, okay? So just by using the nav tag, you won't get the proper navigation, it's just like a, a structure element. Yeah, we'll do with, uh, we'll apply some extra style state and looks like a proper main navigation okay yeah we'll start coding so here in the last class we discussed uh, this one this is the sidebar right so now this is the file number 23 this is the sidebar right so same like this we'll have a main navigation so let me close this uh, open file number 24 i have started live server already it is running now yeah so file number 24 let me open this file number 24 in the live server so let me change the title so html5 nav elements or nav tag okay yeah so it got title got change okay so if you want to write a nav main navigation there is a tag called just nav okay nav so whatever the uh, whenever you want to write the main navigation you must have to write nav tag only okay yeah it is just structure element for main navigation now in the nav i'll add something called ul one unordered list and li okay so in the li i'll write a tag with the href hash this is called home see home okay so same like i said but uh, this, is, this is navigation so just say li and a tag so with the href is uh, hash and this is home hmm, contact let me open the previous uh, file here so html complete template main navigation dot html okay let me add so here let me add so after home so about us home about us okay add one more li add one more li so add an anchor tag so with the href is hash this is uh, contact us okay about us contact us and uh, add one more li add a with the href uh, hash and this is uh, something called carriers okay so lastly add one more li so in this add an anchor tag so with the href hash and this is uh, something called forum some questions forum okay yeah let me open this in the live server see so home about us contact us careers and forum okay yeah now see by default if you just add a nav tag it won't uh, no styles will be applied it's not seems like a proper navigation element right yeah so let me apply some styles for this and then so that uh, i'll just make you feel like yes it is the navigation okay yeah now simple nav tag in the nav tag you have to write ul li and each li is one link if you click on home it has to go to home page right yeah here if you click on home it has to go to so href home.html or contact us uh, contact.html and carriers.html like this right but as of now we don't have uh, that's uh, home.html and all on this so i just given some dummy something called hash okay now so just by adding the nav no styles will be applied yeah we'll convert like a proper navigation by using css okay yeah so once you've done this go to title add a style tag add a style tag okay yeah in this just say uh, body open close body open close so let me add uh, once again let me increase the font size it seems very simple very less font yeah let me increase the font size so font make it 23 okay now proper yeah so in the body element uh, let me add something called font family so i just wanted to add my own uh, font family something called arial okay arial comma which comes under sans serif so arial font i wanted to add see it's a change right simple for word document you'll add a font right so same like that okay yeah now 
okay just close the body yeah next uh, i want to remove the dots i want to remove the dots of ul you know in the html we use uh, type equal to none right so if you say type equal to none for the main ul tag so it removes the dots so no dots nothing will be displayed right so same thing if you are uh, if you want to remove the dots in uh, css there's something called list style type none okay so here so we need to add for what ul so ul is inside nav ul is inside the child element of nav so what you have to do nav space ul nav space ul ul is inside the nav so that's why nav space ul now so let me remove dots there's some property called list style type none it removes the dots right yeah let me remove extra padding and uh, margin so it is uh, let me make it 100% yeah yeah let me remove the extra padding which is there by default so padding 0 and also margin 0 margin 0 okay yeah i remove the padding and margin so it is scheme somewhere in the corner okay yeah next uh, so i wanted to add some nice uh, background color okay so for the entire navigation i want to write uh, black color background color okay yeah so what navigation the full navigation element right so full navigation so the navigation is comes under the nav tag right the entire nav okay so just say nav open close nav open close so here add a background color black so background color is black see background color black has been applied okay yeah next uh, so all are looks like line by line let me float everything to the everything to the left side so do one thing so after nav just say ul space li open close so all the list items i want to push to the left side so that is something called floats left yeah if we just say float left so what happens it just overrides the background color so if you want to fix this if you want to fix this just add something called overflow hidden okay yeah now it just came back now it has came back right yeah now yeah so now looks proper yeah so for each uh, anchor tag right so i want to remove the underline so if you want to remove underline for anchor tag there's something called text decoration none okay so yeah anchor tag inside where li li inside ul ul inside nav okay do one thing so nav ul li a right okay so for this anchor tag i want to remove underline there's something called text decoration none if you say text to decoration none if you say text decoration none see it removes the underline okay so, and also now the text color is something blue color i want to change to white color okay yeah so what we say color white see it is white color right yeah now so it has changed to white color okay so all are touching together so let me give some extra uh, padding so let me make it 100 percent yeah let me add a little padding for this so padding let's say 15 pixels and 25 pixels okay some padding has been applied okay and also let me increase the font size so it slums a uh, very small font so font size some 25 pixels okay yeah 25 pixels font okay and lastly one important property you need to add something called display inline block so in in single line you display each and every element as a blocks okay that one that is display block see now it has come right huh. and now you know it's not seems like a proper navigation right so there is a there's one white space there's one white space around it right so if you want to remove the white space that is something called margin so for the entire body they'll add by default some margin if you want to remove that okay this extra white space i want to uh, uh, stick to the last uh, to the corners of the browser right yeah so for that go to the body elements below this font family just add something called margin zero so i'll just zero the margin so now we check see all are touching together now it seems like a proper navigation this say margin zero for the body elements okay yeah now next uh, what else yeah hover effects so if you hover on it so i want to change some color okay so by default uh, it's color but uh, it not seems like a hover right so if you hover on it some background color i want to change so for hover there's something called uh, there is one pseudo class called hover okay a colon hover yeah so simple how you say tag nav ul li a right so a colon hover 
so again nav ul li a colon hover if you hover on the anchor tag if you hover on the anchor tag let me change the background color if you hover on it i want to change the background color so background color something called c green yes now the background color got changed right this is the main navigation okay and also you know by default at least one uh, at least by default uh, one page should be active right so so without touching it so at least home page should be display so home page should be active we'll do one thing uh, come down yeah there is an li a rights yeah here this add a class called active so active means that that is active so when you click it okay assume like uh, this is a home page and home should be active so home link should be active okay now let me add some the style uh, some different style for the active okay yeah so this are a class called active for the home okay yeah for this we need to add some style so see the class name active inside a tag so that what we have to call is a dot active so if, if you are using class name it should be a it should be dot okay so here it is there inside a tag so a dot active okay so here nav space ul space li space a dot active open close yeah so if it is active i want to change some background color so background color something called forest green see a is by default active so if you hover on it see some different color some different color right yeah this is the main navigation and even uh, if you want to get a some rounded rounded corners right so if you hover on it if you want to get rounded corners for that one there's something called uh, border radius let's say 10 pixels see so mass change to border radius 10 pixel or make it 50 pixels see it is like this okay yeah so for hover effect also if you want to change the border radius so same border radius copy and paste it for a colon hover and check it see this one right so if that not seems good uh, do one thing let me reduce this make it uh, 10 pixel here and also 10 pixels here yes now it looks proper right yeah so as many navigation uh, elements you want you can just add it so after forum if you want to add something extra right so simple after forum so just copy the li here so here something called uh, some example okay yeah. if you want to add one extra just add a li so by default uh, styles will be applied for that check see example has been added right so this is the main navigation element okay so i hope you enjoy this class so just practice this okay so in the next class we'll discuss uh, some other concepts of uh, html5 thanks for watching happy coding Thank you.